served up on dessert plates around town today? Jake Peterson says the answer, it's as easy as pie. What's your pleasure, pie lovers? Is it peanut butter pie, blueberry, or classic key lime maybe? On this National Pie Day, it's only fitting that you and I add it to the list. Mm. I'm trying out Mike's Pies today, a local favorite. Mike Martin has turned his sweet tooth into a success story. It all started with a hankering for his mom's cooking. I got tired of waiting for mom to make the uh, cherry pie, so I just learned how to make it myself. Now Mike's Pie Company turns out up to 15,000 pies a week for restaurants and stores around the country. Now we're talking a lot of key lime pie, from the crust to the filling to the baking and the boxing. It's hard to believe Mike considered not putting key lime on the menu. We never tasted a key lime I liked, and I said, well, I'm not going to do that. And my friends and family were like, how can you open a bakery in Florida and not make key lime pies? Mike did his homework, and let's just say it worked out. That's a champion pie right there. Also on our list, do you confess to finding opera a little intimidating? Well, here's your chance to see how it all works. Opera Tampa is holding some open rehearsals this season, like this one for Verdi's opera, A Masked Ball. Fans get to peek behind the curtain and see how it all comes together long before the grand costumes come into play. To have more um, of a closer relationship with the artists, hopefully they will bring other people saying, hey, this is great, you've got to come and see this. A Masked Ball promises illicit love and murderous plots. It opens February 7th. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.